Okay, we're about half a block away from uh, Spy. I got a beep that uh, there is a Bill 54 raid going on. I just left the place. I was halfway up the hill, so I'm a little bit breathless. We're at the corner now of Ward and uh, Kinao. Half a block away. Um, they came, uh, city crews and police came yesterday and uh, tagged the items. The ordinance requires that the uh, items be tagged and then for them to return, uh, which subjects them to seizure in uh, 24 hours. The uh, tents were changed out. So the Blue Day tents uh, were taken off um, public property and were replaced by uh, red uh, red tents. So there are a bunch of red tents up. If you're just uh, joining us from the uh, mainland, continental U.S., the uh, encampment is along the roadside, which seems odd, but is actually uh, on purpose. It's uh, under the protection of the law of the splintered, la uh, splintered paddle, law of the splintered paddle, which is the first uh, law of um, the kingdom. And I think they might have moved off already. I'm going to. And that right across the crosswalk is. Historic Thomas Square. Now, I got beeped about eight minutes ago, so they must have. Uh, let's see what's tagged here. They just came through. I'm going to catch up to the city crews. As you can see, they put these tags on that subjects everything tagged with uh, seizure. It's a stored property ordinance that uh, many cities enacted end of last year to criminalize homelessness and uh, try and suppress the Occupy movement. Interestingly, uh, yesterday's uh, Talk of the Nation had a uh, interview with someone uh, about LA's uh, ordinance, which was um, subject of an injunction. And uh, sometime very recently, the Department of Justice came out with a report highly critical, condemning. Uh, the, uh, these kinds of ordinances saying that they didn't get at the root of homelessness and were subject to uh, constitutional um, challenge which certainly might be the case uh, in Hawaii's case As you can see armed police If you're uh, following us, the other live streamer over on the other end, you can see is, uh, if you go to Ustream, Pineapple Glitch. This part of the park is uh, separate from Occupy. These are houses of people. This ordinance criticized for criminalizing homelessness, being led uh, in this case by West No Fun Chun. 
who is actually an engineer for the Department of Facilities Management, it's the law. You can and have one thing to carry. Trisha Morikawa, who is the coordinator of the uh, new Office of Housing under uh, Mayor Carlisle, who started it uh, two years ago when, on his uh, term. Trish Morikawa was a prosecutor under the current mayor, who was the chief prosecutor. So the question now is, how much, how much does this affect houseless people? It seems to create more houseless people by taking their houses, their tents away. Um, so there is a effort to try and find the an accounting of the number of tents seized and the number recovered. Uh, I've had uh, seven tents seized, none recovered. I might get some back uh, tomorrow. I have an appointment. But those were seized in February. Uh, required a uh, credit card receipt, which most houses people, of course, do not have. So most of the tents seized have not been recovered. This is uh, increasingly unpopular with the people of the community. Another uh, Ustreamer. Hey, that's Pineapple Glitch at Ustream. Check that out. Now, I got to point out that most homeless camps don't have streaming video. They don't have Twitter. And I wish they did. Moili Ili Field, if you guys are there, this is, you got like 10 minutes warning because you're. <laughs> if you're at Moili Ili Field, or if you're, if you're near there, or if you got Twitter or something, let people know. Prepare, grab the stuff, grab your stuff, and you know, don't store it. Don't let it get tagged. Yeah, because uh, then they might just sell it to the prisoners. They, they have been, uh, they got. This program has gotten nabbed uh, selling uh, crystal meth to prisoners. So maybe that's to help defray costs. I don't know if that's the best way. Again, if you're at uh, Moili Ili Field, that's where they're headed. You got Oh, 10 minutes at most notice because it's right down the street, bro. They're going to head down uh, King Street. Pick up the stuff. Don't let it get tagged. And if there's a way to get you guys Twitter, Instagram, streaming videos. I'll have you guys never tag Randy. Randy has a fucking two suitcases. I just have a bag. Oh, we're not tagging yet. The city's still tagging. Yeah. But what? Hey, what? You guys can't do your fucking job right. That's my job. Then why the fuck you tell me to pick up the paper? And you act like it's your job. That's a good question. Who cares? You don't give a fuck about this island, bitch. Don't tell me have a nice day because I know it'll never come from your heart, bitch. I own it and you can't. I can hear genuine things when I hear it. Yeah, shove that up your ass. Definitely. I'm I'm at unity with, with her cinema. <laughs> yeah. I, I ditto every everything she said goes double for me. Yeah. That I would like to say. I, I, I can uh, I can enjoy that statement. <laughs> we wanna get we wanna get people streaming video and Twitter and stuff. We're lucky because we got it. Okay, the people that are going to Moilili Field, they don't have it. So I tried warning them, if you're near the field, go tell them, you know, the, the Bill 54 guys are on the way, so pick up all their stuff, don't let it get tagged. And this law is going to go down. Oh, yeah, definitely. And the way it works is that it's not, it's not in the criminal code. So police come, but they say they're just here to keep the peace and it's the Department of uh, Facilities Management that uh, 
actually does the tagging and the confiscation of stuff. The, um, you can't blame the police, I mean, because they're not doing anything wrong. But the problem is they're not doing anything at all. They're not doing anything. <laughs> you know? It, and we've had stuff seized that was not subject to seizure, that was not tagged. And uh, the police will intercede in the theft of our property because they're not really... The, the law doesn't fall equally on everybody. But of course, uh, you know, I'm sure you know that by now. And sorry for getting here late. I just left. I was like halfway up the hill and like Michael called. And I'm, oh, shit. So I, was, I just walked up the street. Oh. I had to walk back down. Good exercise. Keep well, old guys. I still haven't been here for a raid. This is just another tagging. This is just an, they didn't. How come they didn't take stuff? Well, no. See now, now you got to understand. This is definitely the starting of another raid. Right. You know, I mean, it's conspiracy to raid. They already. Well, see, they already know the. Here, we'll show you the. Uh, They're done the here With all their equipment, because it is costing as much. Red so, and bark yeah, tent. Now they're. We're starting on raid thirteen now. It's just the first part of it. <laughs> they finished it off and they came back 24 hours later and yet again they can't take some. This makes the third time that they've come to raid, you know, to where they were going to confiscate stuff and hasn't been able to. Red and Bark. They're using the actual brand name now. Now we have uh, maybe a dozen of these tents, of which one, two, three, four are here. These will get uh, these will get um, rotated out to private property to make them not eligible for seizure uh, and replaced uh, by tents that are being stored on. Uh, private property. Uh, I was surprised that this was only a tagging raid. They did tag some stuff yesterday and usually what happens is uh, they come after that and then take stuff but they may have been short uh, the crews necessary to actually seize property because it takes manpower to seize this stuff. But at any rate, yeah, there's a call out if you're uh, in Honolulu for forum furniture. Um, you know, I got to say it's not going to last too long, but if there's lanai furniture or something you got that uh, you're about to throw out, I can we can give it a few more days useful life in the service of the community. Uh, this area is the uh, public forum area. Uh, it used to be the encampment proper. Here's the interesting thing. Somebody put a plant sale sign up on these trees uh, where they said we couldn't have signs. So um, we wanted to see if they took one down, they'd have to take the other, and uh, they haven't taken either. So that's pretty cool. Okay, it's raining like crazy, so i got to protect my uh, stuff. We are at the corner. I know. I'll sign off over at the... Uh, well, let me show you what the uh, public forum area looks like in case you walk in. It's raining now, so... Uh, very often we have a canopy here if it's uh, particularly sunny or rainy. We were expecting this rain, so, you know, we didn't set it out uh, perfectly. If you can't read that, it says bank for president. I think Bank is already president. This is one of our enduring signs. They've taken all kinds of signs and banners. But uh, this one has lasted because it's on wood and it's heavy. <laughs> yeah. So, I'm going to sign off. Uh, thanks for joining us. That means there's going to be a seizure raid uh, soon, tomorrow. But who knows when they get uh, things happening. 
We're at the corner of uh, Baratanian Ward, the historic Thomas Square. And I will talk to you again soon. Thanks for tuning in.